hello there you're welcome to my channel once again so i'm doing this video for um the newbie traders who are just learning how to or who, who are just starting out in the game of forex trading so in this video i'm going to be showing you how to set a stop loss how to set a target on your trades and how to set a trailing stop for your trades so come with me to the chat so you, you just log into your demo account which i already showed you how to go about that log into your demo account so let's place a trade on um, usd swiss franc so i'm going to use that to teach you how to place the stop loss so i put a i put a buy trade in so we have a buy trade at for USD Swiss franc 0 0.1 lot size at 0 0.9831 right so and you can see the green dotted line right here cutting across right so that is a buy order right and when you're placing a buy order your your analysis is based on the fact that you expect the price to keep going up right and so if you want to set a stop loss a stop loss is basically saying um you want to cut your losses when price gets to a point gets low goes down low to a point you feel uncomfortable with uncomfortable with as you know if you're watching my videos that i do not use a stop loss to manage my risk rather i use a, a no stop loss and then i will use hedge uh, the hedging strategy where it's necessary as a last option so if you wanted to place your stop loss right here at zero point on that red line at 0 0.97365 you would come click on the trade right click then click on modify or delete order now when you click on modify or delete order you can see here you have a stop loss and you can see here you have a tick profit a tick profit is your um when your trade is in profit you can set your target for it and the, the metatrader platform would automatically fill you in and close your trade when price hits the target so for our stop loss we use we put a red line there for 0 0.97365 so i would put that here 0 0.97365 and so that's my stop loss and sometimes you could decide to leave your take profit empty but if you decide to put a take profit let's assume that we want we want to take our profits when price hits um, 0 0.99 right so we'll come here click into that click in that box then delete or go back so the first decimal point there and you now type in 0 0.99 right and once you do that you click on modify order right and so that order has been modified so as you can see here the dotted red line is right under the the, the red line we placed here before I'm so I'm trying to remove it, but it's right under the 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 trade. So we have that here, our stop loss here, and our target is somewhere above here. So I'll, I'll zoom out to a higher time frame on the four hours. So now you can see our trades. So we have here your stop loss right here. And your target see we, we are not able to see our set target so we'll zoom in higher to a higher time frame so i go on to the daily chart and then now you can see the target here on the dotted line that's our target at 0 0.99 so whenever price comes up to this level automatically it will be filled and that trade will be closed and your profit will be banked and then whenever price comes down right here right 
the trade will be filled and it will be closed out in a loss now this particular scenario was for a buy trade right so this is for a buy trade and so let's look at the same scenario for a sell trade so i'll close this and then let's open a sell or a sell trade so right click i already show you how to place a trade so new order sell right so we have a sell right here at 0 0.9835 so let's say we want to place a stop loss so if price goes to 0 0.99 we want um the the platform to cut our losses to to limit our losses to whatever we have in negative when price hits 0 0.99 so we we'll click this we come to the trade click on the trade right click on it then you come to modify or delete order and then you have your stop loss here and you have your target here or take profit here and so you come down to the box click on it or you could also use this drop down here click on the drop down no no we type it manually then so 0 0.99 for stop loss and then we can use 0 0.98 for a target you need to be very careful that you put in the right figures if you go put in 0 0.099 that's a totally different price or if you go put 0 0.909 that's a totally different price right so make sure you're not making er any errors make sure you double check that you've not made any errors because the slightest error could cost you a lot of money now we click on modify so that's input in the market so now you can see we have the stop loss right above here and you have the target right um on the right or this dotted line right so now i want to introduce you to the concept of trailing stops right so this is your entry price for on this trade and this is your stop loss this is your target so let's remove that target on that trade and leave it open because you use a trailing stop when you when you're trying to follow the price and lock in profits as it your profits increases so i modify that so in this example let's assume that we have a target and we expect the price really really move um far so let's say we expect price to move at 0 0.96 let's say 0 0.9 let's use 0 0.97 right just above this red line and um so a trailing stop basically it's a stop that keeps adjusting itself and follows the price as it keeps going down and it locks in profits for you right so let's assume that the price here has come down to 0 0.97 0 0.96 0 0.98 somewhere around 0 0.98 so we could say let's use 0 0.9750 yeah somewhere around there so we could say every time the price of usd swiss franc moves 50 pips or every time the price of usd uh, swiss franc moves 20 pips in profit you want your stop loss to also move 20 pips lower right so we're going to use 20 pips use a 20 pips trailing stop so you select you right click select the trade right click on the trade then put a, um click on trailing stop then you select 20 pips 20 points right 20 points and that puts your trailing stop into the market and as you can see this turns yellow right this turns yellow and every time the market the price of this moves 20 points this 
stop loss is going to change so the next level is going to change to is going to be 0. Point, it's going to change at 0. Point, when price is 0. 0.98 currently price is 0. 0.9 we entered at 0. 0.98356 so 20 pips lower when price moves to 0 0.98156 this stop loss is going to move from 0 0.99 to 0 0.9880 right so as the price continues going lower this stop loss will continue to trail the price and follow it automatically until price comes back up and hits that stop loss so that's why it's called a trailing stop the stop loss doesn't stay fixed it keeps moving with the price as it goes into profit and keeps locking in your profit until price reverses and comes back up to hit the stop loss and it takes you out of the market and closes that trade so in this video i've been able to show you how to set your stop loss how to set your take profit or target and how to use a trailing stop right so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and then if you are new to this channel do subscribe for more valuable content and if you are an old subscriber um it's good to see you again and make sure you click when you subscribe to the channel make sure you click on the red the bell click on the bell beside the subscribe button so that you get notifications every time i post a new video right make sure you check out the video i posted before this where i made some live calls and did a live analysis of the market so i'll see you in the next video and stay safe out there in the market do not let the dealers do not let the brokers do not let let the big players take your capital away from you see you in the next videos